welcome back to my channel today. It's so good to see you again. And I want to welcome my new subscribers and my, my long-time uh, subscribers and supporters here on YouTube. I just love all of you so much, and I appreciate you coming back uh, every time I post a video and, and watching my videos and listening to me and listening to my stories. And I appreciate all the comments that you leave. I do read every comment. I may not answer everyone, but I do try my best to at least acknowledge it with a heart sticker. And I hope that you appreciate that. I really appreciate you being here. And I want to ask you to please uh, share my videos. Uh, if you have friends or family who aren't familiar with Glenda Sully on YouTube, uh, please tell them about me and ask them to join in with us. I think that they would um, like being here with us and listening to some stories also. So thank you for that. I have to pause for a second. I'll be right back. Yeah, I decided to go into my settings and put my phone on the airplane mode so that I wouldn't get any dings or rings or text messages or anything and interrupt my nanny story because I don't want to be interrupted. So I have my water here. I'm, I'm always reminding y'all to drink lots and lots of fresh water. It's so healthy and so good for you. And you could even put a few squeezes of fresh lemon in there. I don't do it because I don't really like flavored water. I, um, I like my water just right out of the faucet and out of the tap. Or sometimes I'll put one of those little pure water filters on the tap and filter it. But I wanted to tell y'all that I'm wearing a uh, L'Oreal Everbloom today, and it is number 254. I'm sure I have linked this before in other videos, but I just wanted to show it again. And I really need to go into my um, my Amazon account and, and order me some more. Look, this is all I have left, because Everbloom is one of my very favorite colors. I love it. Oh, it just goes on so smooth and nice. No um, flavor to it, no taste, no aftertaste. Um, the, to me, the L'Oreal lipsticks last a very long time. Now I can't get this wrinkle out of my little poncho thing. <sighs> also, this necklace is from a very, very long time subscriber of mine, Kitten Bo. You, do you remember sending this to me, the chakra? Chakra? Ch chakra? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Chakra? tree of life and it is for protection and I want to thank you for that I have really I have worn it so many times I really do appreciate it and I found it in um on Amazon you can purchase it and I will leave the link to the uh, tree of life necklace in the description below and also my Amazon link to the lipstick and if you buy it I will receive a small Commission from Amazon, and that commission check goes into my grandson Issa's college fund. So when you purchase from my Amazon account, you're helping to educate a, a little boy who hopefully will grow into a nice, strong, well-educated young man one day. So um, I did want to talk to you some more about the Nanny Diaries. Um, this is probably going to turn into one of my longest series, probably longer than... Dr. Searroyd or, or Dr. Corruption and the Devil Wife, but if I, if I um, rummage through my, the, the dark crevices of my brain, I'm sure I could come up with some more stories about Dr. Searroyd and, the, um, and his little antics and uh, Dr. Corruption and the Devil Wife, so I may continue with that uh, Nanny Diary series too. So let me pick up with uh, Mr. Krusty Feet and the Trophy Wife. So I had left off where we were in Greenwich, Connecticut, and they had gone out that evening. And um, so the next day, we were to meet the, fa the children's father and pick up um, Max and Ruby from uh, their little stay at, with their father and with their other grandmother in Queens. So um, the designated pickup place was at a... I forget, it wasn't in a mall parking lot, but it was somewhere in the neighborhood there. For some reason, uh, the trophy wife didn't want to go to the grandmother's house, so she had the ex-husband meet us in a parking lot. So we got there, and, and there he was in a brand new Mercedes too, although his was silver, and uh, he had brand new, what do they call those things on the wheels? Spokes or <laughs> hubcaps or something 
you know, those wire things, that, that the fancy things that, that they put on the, the tires. He had four brand, four brand new ones on his set of tires. So as soon as we pulled up, oh my God, the, the uh, trophy wife's face just got red out of envy and jealousy. And she goes, he, he had to have paid at least $3,000 for those wheels. She was so, so mad and so angry and so envious and jealous. And y'all know jealousy does not look good on anybody. I mean, even the most beautiful and distinguished uh, people in the world, once, once the jealousy comes through and all uh, the bitterness and the rage and the envy, uh, it really makes them look like an imbecile. <laughs> Uh, so it, it's not a pretty look on you at all. But um, anyway, so we retrieved the children, and so we headed back down to the shore. And we had um, the the two dogs with us, Lucy and Shelby. So we get back to the shore house, and um, we go in, and Trophy Wife pulls out the pictures that she had done at the photography studio, her um, her beautiful modeling pictures. So she starts tacking them up on the wall. Didn't even bother to buy frames for them or anything. So she, she put pictures all up the stairwell and just all throughout the living room. Why is it that people who uh, think they're so gorgeous have to have pictures of themselves all over the place? I think that's, I think it's kind of, um, I don't know, it, it's it's too much of being uh, self Self-important, I guess, is the word I'm trying to think. Think of. She, she was self-important. <laughs> Let's say that, or at least she thought she was. So, of course, um, Mr. Krusty Feet just had to invite the neighbors over because he wanted to show them his new girlfriend. Um, now, he didn't tell them that he met her on SugarDaddy.com, or if he did, I, I didn't hear it. <laughs> but that's where he met her. Um, and that's what he was, a sugar daddy, because he was not no big catch, let me tell you that. Um, so he invited some of his neighbors over, and he was showing off the trophy wife and telling them, um, oh, she has two kids, we're just one big happy family, you know, we're Max and Ruby and, and Shelby and Lucy and and <laughs> and Rick and, and Ava Rose and all this, you know, he would sing this little song, we're just one big happy family. Well, I didn't see much happiness in it, but um. So anyway, the the guys that she that he invited over, uh, they didn't bring their wives with them. It was just a few of the guys from from next door in this um, on this island down where they were where the the shore house was. So they were, ooing and and um, gog you know googling and goggling all over the trophy wife and everything, and thought she was so beautiful. She was about. She really wasn't tall enough to be a model. She was only about five foot three, because she was she and um, Mr. Krusty Feet were about the same height. I would say he was about four five. He was about my height, about five five. So she was not as tall as him. So she really wasn't, you know, big enough to be or tall enough to be a model, um, unless she just wanted to be a print model. And I think she really wanted to walk on the catwalk. You know, I'm on the catwalk, I'm on the catwalk. <laughs> didn't want to be a print model, even though she wasn't tall enough to be on the catwalk, but I reckon she thought she was right, said Fred. Um, I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt, too sexy it hurts. I'm too sexy for Milan, New York and Japan. <laughs> I'm too sexy for your party. The way I'm disco dancing, the way I'm disco dancing. I'm a model, you know, on the catwalk. I what I mean, and I do my little turn on the catwalk, on the catwalk. <laughs> no, that little shorty was not was not tall enough to be on the catwalk. But anyway, uh, the old crusty feet was over there showing her off and everything. And uh, so they were just, you know, oohing and on over her and thought she was so gorgeous and beautiful and everything. And I'm just, like, you know, doing this. So she goes, she was sitting down, y'all, and she stands up and goes, I'm a size zero. <laughs> Get her 
herself on the butt saying she was a size zero right in front of those men. <laughs> Y'all and Glenda Merle wanted to say, well, this is a size two zero. <laughs> Because I was about a size 20 back then, although I'm not anymore. This, this is a size 18. <laughs> so I think that's enough of laughing and having fun today about the Nanny Diaries. And I hope y'all enjoy it as much as I enjoy telling these stories. Because there are a lot of strange people out there. And the, the more that they want to pretend to be rich, the stranger that they are. So y'all please give me a thumbs up. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.